hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this training session in today's session we're going to be talking about and I'll be showing you a number of illustrations on live charts on trading using channels channels in my opinion form one of the top three trading patterns that we see appear in basically every market every time frame so we're going to be discussing some ideas on how to draw channels correctly and some ideas of how you may trade them and how they can also improve your bottom line as always my videos are raw real and unedited so you'll have to excuse me if we've got any um, bloopers along the way but I know you'll forgive me for that so one thing I'd like you to be very cautious of is this the information I'm about to cover with you may be very basic but it's very important so as I cover the information please don't discount it also I recommend that you have a notepad and pen handy because I can promise you if you incorporate some of the ideas I show you today it will improve your bottom line before we get into the PowerPoint and then go to the live slides uh, sorry the uh, live charts I should say if you haven't already requested the truth about day trading one of my ebooks you can uh, click on the download link under the video and I have one other you can also request my free training manual you can also request that in the link under the video and uh, and of course you can go and visit my website at I'm a day trader Dot com but let's get straight into that before though I do need to put up the risk disclaimer there is a risk in trading if you're new to my channel or if you haven't read what oh, sorry watch one of my videos before please take the time to pause the video and read the disclaimer so let's get into it now first of all the concept may seem very basic so it's very easy to think this is a waste of time when you look at some of the things I'm about to show you so I want you to reframe it now the ones or the traders are most guilty of this are the experienced traders uh, over 70 percent of the traders I work with or that are members of the day traders fast track program already had one to ten years experience and what I tend to find they can be a little jaded and a little closed-minded so instead I want you to reframe it as you watch this video to get the most out of it instead I want you to be asking yourself how can I use this to improve my trading if you can pick up just one major idea it may turn your trading around so it's very important next channel trading is a powerful yet often overlooked form of trading that capitalizes on the tendencies of markets to trend they combine several forms of analysis to provide traders with precise points for when to, to buy and sell place your stop loss and take profit and when we go to the charts uh, we're going to be looking at some CL charts we'll discuss those uh, in detail and remember what I cover with you today here is applicable to all markets it doesn't matter whether you trade stocks Forex or futures it's just as applicable now channels are useful for short to medium to trading and in my opinion most suited the best in my opinion really best suited to day and short-term swing trading now there are three types of channels you have bull channels that is when of course the market is trending bear tra channels when the market is falling and horizontal or trading range channels and so we have three that we'll look at on the charts in a moment now some key points first of all start with one pattern and master it now what I mean by that is I have a number of videos on YouTube discussing different types of uh, trading patterns for example I love double bottoms and double tops I love ascending and descending triangles uh, I like wedges there's a whole lot of different patterns out there so what I recommend is rather than try to take on 10 different patterns and, and incorporate them straight away become very very good at one master that before you move on to the next one now I mentioned earlier that trading channels works on all markets and time frames but the lower the time frame the more noise which means you'll have um, a greater number of false signals so as you're about to see in a few minutes you'll see that I like to apply the channels on what I call my anchor chart I have my trading chart my EC my entry chart and my AC which is my anchor chart so I'm always looking if I'm trading with the trend that is in trading in the direction of the trend on my anchor chart the higher time frame which for most time frames or most types of charts that I trade is three times higher so I'm always applying it to my anchor chart now with channels 
you're looking at buying the lows and selling the highs which you'll get the concept when I show you this now when you get a channel overshoot that is when price action shoots out of a channel for usually three to seven candles or more than reverses then you may have a good possible counter trend trade and I just wanted to put that there in case I forget to mention that because um, counter trend trading actually I'll leave a target to the chart because there's a couple of examples I want to show you now channels can turn into a wedge or triangle or an ascending or descending triangle equals a major move and I'm going to show you a couple of examples of that there are certain markets that I think are um, absolutely fantastic with channels for an example CL particularly in the morning session I tend to find that channels become uh, less reliable in the afternoon session and it's look seriously it just amazes me every day um, how accurate channels are you'll get usually at least four or five really good bounces off the higher or the low of a couple of channels in a morning session and they're just very very reliable now another thing that's really good on on channels and in my opinion the best channels are where you've got around a 45 degree now you don't have to have that of course you can have narrow channels um, but just keep that in mind uh, if the better the uh, angle of a channel um, the better the opportunities are now let me just point one thing out here if you've got price action soaring up like this you might end up with what I call a snapback trade so you're probably not going to have an opportunity or, or a channel won't form because it'll shoot up then snap back so anyway I'm going to show you some live examples in a moment let's just have a look at a couple of older charts that I had there in my training materials so what we can see here is a horizontal or a trading range channel now these are the channels that personally I don't like to trade I find them too difficult okay I'm a what I call a momentum trader I like to be trading with the trend and so you'll see this quite often that you're trading within a trading range however what we do know is that when we're in a range like this generally the energy is building for a breakout in one direction or another now the trick of course in this particular case is making sure that you get um, uh, that that you don't get caught in what we call a false breakout now what you can see here we had a breakout a pullback and entering on the trend continuation can be one of your most reliable ways of entering the breakout of a horizontal channel but the real ones I wanted to focus on today are your bear and bull channels and when we look at the charts you'll understand them uh, and I'll show you how I draw them and you know these are just as I mentioned very very reliable if you're a Forex trader I love them for an example with tick charts or range charts and I personally believe they're best suited bull and bear channels for day traders they just work really well and so what we've got here is of course a bull channel you can see the market rising and I'm going to show you how I draw them as well in just a moment now a lot of these eventually will you'll get a breakout and of course the channel is broken or they can turn into a rising or a falling wedge or they can fall, um, f form a descending or ascending triangle now either way just remember that if, if you're in a channel and all of a sudden you start to see price action change what's happening here is the energy is building the market is coiling the market is ripe for a breakout so these can be very very powerful when you start to see price action getting smaller and smaller like this contracting the energy is building it's ready for a breakout so let's look at the charts uh, and I've just got to mention here and we'll come back to this slide at the end please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can be kept up to date with all of these videos now what we're going to do is look at a few different charts so I'll be stopping and pausing the videos I jump from one thing to another um, because I just want to show you some classic examples of over the last week's trading of some channels so if we look at the um, uh, the chart on the left is what I call my EC my entry chart now just for your own records this is a CL chart a 233 tick and it wouldn't matter what market this is you'll see this uh, um, it's almost identical every market with the channels the way they're formed and the way we set them up so this is a 233 tick and my anchor chart is a 610 now what we can see here is and I'm going to expand in a moment but I wanted to show you this 
we can see on the right when I've got a channel I can see what, what direction the overall trend is heading now I can then place more emphasis and my more reliable trades are going to be trading with the trend what I can see on the right hand side is what my channel here is in a downtrend so I'm going to be looking for for short trades now when it comes here and if we look at this here I've got what we call a t7 this is a double top against the floor pivot when I've got a double top like this and all of a sudden I look over here and I've got a bounce off a channel or a possible bounce this just then dramatically increases the probability of this trade actually working out and it might add another five to ten percent towards the probability of this trade working so let's now expand this chart and let's have a look at channels themselves so what I've done oops and let me just um, get this back again okay so on this particular day I've got a couple of examples now it doesn't have to be perfect and you're going to get what I call overshoots so you will get overshoots now when you get a dramatic overshoot they are usually ripe for a good counter trend trade but also channels can keep you out of bad counter trend trades which I'll show you in a moment so this is how I draw them I'm looking for at least two touch points here so I'll simply do this I will just go now this might just take a minute to pull this up for you and I'll just um, what I'm going to do is not make it exact so we can you can see exactly what I do so here is a couple of touch points that I've got there to there I will then draw a parallel line and let me just uh, make sure that I've got this disabled yep okay so I'll draw a parallel line which I have just here and I will then drag that up to a point normally I drag it up to here or, or usually about the top here okay so I've got a couple of touch points I'll then drag it and then so I'm keeping it separate just to make it simple then I will click on it and I'll extend it right and I'll extend this one right as well so that forms my channel now what I've done here is just separate a little bit from the one I actually did now then what you can see is as much as I only had that point you can then see the price action come down hit it again almost hit the top channel again come down and bounced again finally before it broke the channel to the short side then I'm looking for a new channel setup now with this one I then take that point to that point as it's forming I then do draw a whoops let me just do this for you I'll then do draw a parallel line I'll then drag that down and I only need one point at that stage which is that one so I've got that point to that point I'll draw a parallel as long as I hit it there and if you look what happened then you'll see that price action in come down and then hit that lower channel so let me move along here and then it come up and bounce off the channel again come down and hit the lower channel again now where this can be useful is this that quite often for an example in the day traders fast track strategies we'll have time and time again we'll have trade entries on these points what it does is when you know you're hitting the high of a channel you know you've got a short a possible short trade and the rules are you sell the highs you buy the lows sell the highs buy the lows sell the low so <laughs> buy the lows sell the high so perhaps you get the, the overall concept here now what is really powerful for me is that anytime I can glance over on my anchor chart to the right and I can see what direction the overall market is heading in. now as I mentioned as the day goes on quite often you'll find that your channels become less accurate but you only need to pick three or four of these bounce points a day and you can make a lot of money out of the markets particularly when you incorporate and build in your own entry points such as the ones that we have let me show you some more examples now this is an interesting one from last week and that is we had FOM uh, sorry yeah we had inventory report on Wednesday's mornings at 1030 so we can see I've drawn a uh, channel we actually had a wedge formation here we had a breakout we exit the market we're out of the market at least 15 minutes before we have the inventory report the market goes crazy now what I then did was was to draw further parallel channels uh, that is parallel lines off these lines and I drag them down 
so I had two points so at this point and this point I did another parallel dragged it down to here now we only had um, uh, it only so it there it bounced up there I had that point market then come down and bounced again and up it went now what was interesting here is that these points here rallied straight off the parallel lines that I had up above let me show you another example here's another example we had just this point to this point this is all I need I draw a small trend line from there to there then I automatically extend it right okay all I need is two points and I then do a parallel line from there to there which drags it down and it touched there so all of a sudden that is I drag it down so I've got one two three points so a b c it comes down hits my lower channel there's trade one you buy comes up you're looking for a sell at your upper channel okay and there's your second trade now I, what I want you to do is to start to draw these in and you'll start to see the patterns it's very hard in a short training video to show you really the power of these but where it's great for me as a trader is that I've only got about one-third of your screen showing and when I've got my entry chart over here I can simply glance over here and automatically see it just gives me a clear direction to be looking for short trades and then with my trade entries for an example just there we call that a 34b this is an 8934b so when you combine um, your trade entries your high probability trade entries with channels all of a sudden it dramatically increases the probability of that trade working out now this is what we can see here is Monday the 3rd of July okay so it was a very uh, low it was a low volume day because we had 4th of July the next day and actually it's 4th of July today that I'm recording and so you can see here I drew this channel in there to there extended right there um, I had this point here so I knew where to drag my parallel once again just to show you how I do it just again so simply as long as I've got two points so I've got two points there to there I will then do a parallel let me just uh, get back to the pointer I will drag that parallel down to my first swing low which is there that's all I need is one and I then extend it right I then extend that right there is my channel so I had that one there so it come up and it was already starting to come down of course then it come down almost touched the bottom and this is what we call a 200b it come up I then had a 34b it then came down and I had what we call an extension okay so extended market and this is what I call a t3 and so then we had a great t3 to the long side it then come up it bounced and then it reversed and just beware that usually the longer you're in the channel you know that the greater the probabilities you're going to get a turn but this is something I want to show you which is very very important so my next channel here was here so we went up okay we had this point went up to the second point come down here is the point for my channel and you can actually just see under there there to there the original let me see if I can drag that there you can see that that's my original point there okay so I then I just took that there extended to the right okay now this is where divergence traders or this is where you can be very cautious here on taking divergence trades now of course what normally happens within a channel we bounce sell the high buy the low sell the high buy the low sell the high buy the low but what happens here is of course we're in a virtually running parallel with our 34 when you see price action running parallel with your um, major EMAs that is a real warning sign this is where divergence traders get really slaughtered and what you can see down here on my uh, on my uh, platinum MACD here I had multiple potential divergence trades and entries now what you really want to look for is if you're really interested in divergence trade you want to look for what I call an overshoot for price action to come out when you start to see that happening when you've got what we call angulation price shooting out of a channel it's called an overshoot that'll dramatically improve the opportunity or the percentages of a, um, uh, a counter trend trade working now this is something else that then will form you can see finally we come up and we broke come down here and then finally hit the um, our lower channel and this of course is a bull channel we then had a buying opportunity slowly crept up and then 
what happened it actually formed into what we call an ascending triangle you can see what I call it a flat top price action just went along there finally we broke below the channel now technically speaking I say that when you have a ascending triangle price action is meant to go up in this but it's not always true and in this particular case we had a good break and then it come and it turned into an 89b so you can see here that quite often I'll turn into triangles or into wedges now the bottom line here is traders is I've just given you a very very quick overview here on um, on channels now I could spend hours preparing powerpoints for this and whatever but this is hey this is free <laughs> but I'm giving you and it's and there's a ton of stuff on the internet about this and there's some great books and oh that's one thing too sorry members I forgot to bring this up uh, if you're a member of the day traders fast track program uh, members don't forget in the trading ebook section I've got three or four great books in there on trading channels sorry on char, um, chart patterns let me get this right so in the members library under trading ebooks there are some great books there on trading patterns so please make sure you go and visit those so traders hopefully you can just um, just very briefly then just see a slim glimpse of what channels can do but if you're trading with the trend and you're bouncing from the high to the low etc it just adds an extra five to ten percent of probability of that trade working for you so as we finish and wrap this one up uh, if you're not already a member of the day traders fast track program please visit my website at I'm a day trader .com, um, where you can request my free ebooks and for $197 traders you get the most comprehensive and perhaps some um, uh, and just very quickly here there are over 300 videos now in my um, package you're over 300 training videos uh, some some of them are Q&A's etc but over the years I've got them trading all sorts of patterns I've got comprehensive powerpoints on over really what I call the 12 world's best day trading strategies I've got cheat sheets um, there's a ton of indicators that are all included for $197 it's all included if you're a new member under downloads there are dozens of charts uh, there are apps there's all sorts of things here there's time frames that I like to trade there's charts there's a ton of stuff here this is the world's most comprehensive program with no upsell the only upsell is if you choose to join for $97 a month you can join my chat room which runs three three hours a day four days a week for $97 a month where you watch me call trades uh, explain trades in real time for 97 a month that's the only upsell should you choose however everything is in my program so uh, um, visit my website get more information on that but most importantly subscribe to my channel so you can be kept up to date with more videos and as I mentioned traders in taking if you pick up just one idea and this is very very important as traders whenever we read something on trading we read a book um, we peruse something to be saying to ourselves what can I learn from this how can I use this to improve what I'm already doing and one more thing I've got to say if you're already an experienced trader you don't throw out what I teach even though I'm teaching you what are some of the world's best day trading and swing trading strategies what you do you take the strategies and say how can I use these to improve what I'm already doing very very important the questions that we ask ourselves and the statements we say to ourselves thank you traders I hope you picked up uh, one or two ideas from this session and I'll see you hopefully or you'll hear from me from my next video thank you